targeting truck drivers is not I'm cool. I'm sorry, I had a phone call, dispatch, but uh, ho hopefully this this helps somebody. Man, if you're driving through the state of Indiana, uh, the speed limit is 65. Don't set your cruise crows to 70 or 71. And that uh, master trooper Tim McCormick, badge number 6189. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Hopefully this this helps somebody, man. If you're traveling through the state of Indiana, no more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Targeting truck drivers is not I'm cool. I'm sorry. I had a phone call. Dispatch. But uh, ho hopefully this, this helps somebody, man. If you're traveling through the state of Indiana, uh, the speed limit is 65. Don't set your cruise crows to 70 or 71. And that uh, master trooper Tim McCormick, badge number 6189, is out there lurking in an unmarked black charger. And basically, I guess he seen me from the other side of the road and busted a U-turn, came around, and uh, pretty much hunted me down. But during the months, you know, for everybody... Master Trooper McCormick. Uh, so basically, uh, I only been at this company like I think less than thirty days. So you know, and the ELD it is electronic device. You know what I'm saying? It would not let me pick on. What it did was it actually freezes up and would not let me pick a duty station. So he wrote me up, it's his driver uh, record of duty status not current, log not current on 4.15, 11 p.m. until stop. Log has last entry of off duty in the Highland, Indiana. Then he got on here, driver failed to maintain ELD instruction sheet. I found out that they do carry an instruction sheet inside of the handbook. But this this part right here is some BS. Yeah. Truck Mafia from South Carolina in the building. What's going on? It's man. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right bro. into it, bro. I mean, I seen your first TikTok. I was gonna do a reaction on it, but I didn't get a chance to. Uh but then But you should have. But right, right. But then I seen another one that you said you got another one. So, bro, let's let's jump into it. The the first one that that you got hemmed up was what in Indiana. Take us back to what happened, man. I'm on the 80. I'm going uh, eastbound, headed to uh, Massachusetts, and uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm, uh, it's, it's early in the morning. It's like 8:30 on a Sunday morning. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really out on the fucking road but me and the good gracious Lord. So I had set my cruise to like 71, 70, 71, and I'm just going, you know what I'm saying, listening to Lee Williams. And about, let's say, well, I just got from Highland, Indiana, and went like, let's say, 26 minutes down the road. And I looked in my, my rearview mirror, and I see it's an officer in an unmarked charger. He just like all on my ass with his lights on. You know what I'm saying? I'm I mean, man, what the hell? Am I really getting stopped right now? You know, I done been through Indiana over a million times, bro. A, a million times in my whole drama career. And, like, man, I ain't never really got I ain't never got stopped in Indiana for a motherfucking thing. Excuse my language, man, but I'm just pissed off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the officer, he comes up to me and say, uh, uh, you know why I stopped you, right? You know what I'm saying? You were speeding. And also, let me, uh, uh, you know how, I, so basically he climbed in up on the uh, passenger side. I rolled down the window. He stick his head in. You know, you know how they take that, that uh, inhale breath? Like they trying to smell marijuana, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, gonna smell alcohol or whatever. I'm like, man, I ain't no dirty ass driver, bro. Well, I said, what you doing all that for? Uh, I just got a little short-winded. Hi, my name is uh, Tim McCormick. 
I don't know if I can say his name or not, but I guess we, I guess it's public, you know, freedom of speech or whatever. But the reason why I stopped you because you was going uh sixty ten uh, uh you was doing like seventy one, the speed limit sixty five. Say what? I said, sir, I just crossed up out of Illinois. It was 70 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is Indiana. Indiana uh, uh, laws. Uh, we regulate trucks here. It's 65 miles an hour. Well, see, Ohio, I'm finna go into it 70 miles an hour. Trucks are not regulated. You know, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, y'all surrounding states, even Michigan. You know, trucks are really not regulated at 65. Y'all the only motherfucker right here that's at 65. So, basically, we, we, you know what I'm saying? All right, bro, what you need? Oh, yeah, uh, well, right now I'm going to do a level three inspection. And uh, let, me, let me see your logs, too. So, he's sitting on the log. You with me? Yeah, I'm still with you, man. You your your Bluetooth cut out, but I can hear you good, though. Go ahead. And uh, he was just basically like, uh, you know, I'm gonna do a level three inspection. Let me see your logs as well. So he gave him my log, the, the actual tablet, and he went through and said, uh, "What did you shut down last night?" I said, "I shut down the Highland. I just started my day." Oh, okay, I see a free trip right here. I said, why uh said, why was you logged in off duty? Like shit, I was away from the truck. You know what I'm saying? My little ride came and picked me up. And you know what I'm saying? Dropped me back off this morning. Started my day. So he got me for that, for the uh the, the duty status, and then he gave me a warning for the speed. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so the duty status, I'm confused. Like, you you said you was off duty. Like, you you was in Holland, you shut down, you stepped away from the truck, you was gone from the truck for your 10 hours. That's off duty. Why, why, why did I get, why, why did I get, get tapped for being off duty? What? What is he trying to say to where you were supposed to be in? I, I guess he said I should have switched to the switch sleeper berth when I came back to the truck and then went to on duty. What? Okay, yeah. okay, so you got back to the truck. Uh you got back to the truck, you know, you switched to on duty to do your your pre-trip, you got in. I mean, you yeah. you got you got on the road and you start rolling. I, you you wasn't in the truck at all, so I still don't understand wh why you got why why you got pinched for duty status, and you wasn't even in the truck. And the duty, I uh, saw, so, and another thing. That I failed to mention, it wouldn't let me. So he asked me to put myself on duty. The ELD, the uh, tablet was froze up or malfunctioning. The software was malfunctioning, and it would not let him change to on duty status. I'm trying to find that ticket so I can read the read it to you. Oh, okay, so. <clears throat> So, yeah, so, so it says driver record of duty status not current. Period. Log not current on a le on four uh, four fifteen uh twenty twenty three at at eleven oh nine p.m. until stop. Log last entry of off duty in Highland, Indiana. Okay, so. So when you went off duty in Holland, so what he so what he saying that the that that the that the clock was it registering until you went off duty in Holland? 
correct. It's like it, it wasn't registering until until stop. And I'm like, that that's a software error. You know what I'm saying? That ain't that what the fuck what that gotta do with me. <sighs> you know, I'm in compliance. Well, but I, if if, if I the guess, tablet I guess what he's trying to I, I guess what he's saying is because this 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 happened to me when I was up in PA. Uh I guess what he's what he's saying is is that being that you neglected to I guess fix it or when you know start logging in your law books or something like that. I guess that's why he you know kind of put that on on you i guess like my situation was i i was you know rolling down the way i was on the 94 um lights is flashing for all the trucks to go into the into the way state well it wasn't even a way station it was a it was a it was a rest area um unfortunately my my uh driver tech conked out on me i pulled over to the side of the you know over to the side of the shoulder so that i can see if i can reset it and then after that i i pulled out my law book and i tried to start you know logging everything um you know dot rolled up on the side scared the fuck out of me too like rolled up behind me came up on the side of the truck knocked on <laughs> what the fuck who that uh, i raised <laughs> i raised down i raised down the window old boy like uh is there any particular reason why you uh on the side of the shoulder sir i says uh yeah you know i you know i'm a rookie i'm new to this so i was like yeah i said my driver tech just went out on me and i was trying to uh you know, try to get everything caught up, try to log everything and all like that. And uh, he was like, well, okay, well, go ahead and follow me into the, you know, way station slash rest area. And, uh, oh, you know, he, he got, I mean, he, 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 you know, I, I didn't get a ticket or anything like that. He just gave me a warning and just told me to, you know, he, he got a hold of my law department, you know, because I got them on the phone and they was able to email him, you know, email him the laws up until the time I was up until the time the, the thing was out. So he knew that I was still, you know, I was still legal to drive. And he just told me to, you know, before I pull off to make sure that I, you know, get the law book up to date. Uh, so luckily for me, you know, I, I didn't get a ticket. I did get a warning. I mean, they, they did put it on the, on the DOT inspection, you know, but, but, you know, as far as giving me a ticket or I had to pay anything, I, I didn't get that. But in your case, this looks like what a ticket that you have to pay. Uh, it's violations. He gave me two violations and a warning. Every day for the last 10 years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? Two violations? What was the other violation? Uh, the second violation was... Uh, Driver failing to maintain ELD instruction sheet. So he gave you two violations on the clock? Yeah, because I called in to talk to my uh, my my log manager. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, man, this thing here freezing up. And, you know, try to get a little walkthrough process. And I'll say, yo, this is my first time using uh, this ELD system. And I'm, I'm, <clears throat> um, I've been, you know what I'm saying, with this company for like two and a half weeks. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time I'm using this ELD system. I'm still 
trying to get acclimated to it on, on the, how the process works. And he was just like, well, did they give you an instruction sheet? But I don't know. I have to look for it. So he was all right. Well, give me the end. He went on to the back. You know? So when he came back, I said, oh, shit. You know, I, after I got a got, uh, hold of my uh, log manager, uh, he pretty much was like, everything right there in the book, bro, you good. I don't see why does he say, you know what I'm saying, with, with your logs and everything, you still current on everything. I don't see why is he even a uh, tricker. And as far as the warning, I should have asked for a ticket, you know, instead of the warning. Well, I mean, he gave you a ticket for everything else. <laughs> you know, I mean. Correct. <laughs> you know. <laughs> he gave you a ticket for everything else. You might as well make it the trifecta, <laughs> you know. Well, it's thank correct. You, you know, know thing, I mean, you already gave is, you already I gave is. me violation points for 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 two of the violation and what or just what you just wanted you you just you know felt some kind of way now yeah shit just give me the ticket for that one too uh you he gave you he he gave you that was there any was there did he put you out of service or anything like that no he did I, my, my, that's what I'm saying my logs were current if they was not current. He would shut me down out of service, but he didn't. Wow. So what? A, uh, you know. All right. So what? So who has to end up paying for you know the the, the violation tickets? You or the company? The company. Well, and we know the company. Well, we know. Pay. Well, we know the company is going to pay the ticket, but is they going to take that out of your? Your settlement? You know. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? You know. You know it. Oh, you oh, they are. Oh, okay, okay. And you say the company yeah, I, so I gotta, you said gotta, they was gotta, pissed. Gotta, what what was the what was what was the follow up conversation between you and your peoples as far as that went? Basically, my follow with the company. Yes, it was pissed, bro. Uh, but they couldn't let me go because I've never gotten in any trouble. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the owner he looked at my record and seen, you know, you're not a. And to this day, you know, he said you're not a, a nasty, dirty driver, man. He said because if you was right now today, I would have let you go. But I see, I think this, this guy here was just, you know, then he said, man, you're black. And I was just like, yeah. You know, he said, well, well, this guy here, he's white. <laughs> he said, These fucking people here in, uh, in America need to stop this shit. And he was like, this, this, this right here, this right here is really killing us. T TM, and I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm going to stop you right there. Do you really, truly believe that 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 the race card was played in this situation? Because I'm sure the officer did not see you or see who was driving the truck when he initially pulled you over. Bro, let me tell you what's so funny. He was on the opposite side of the road. You know what I'm saying? He was on the opposite side of the road because I, I recognized the car from I'm going eastbound, he's going westbound. So when I passed him, you know, during that time frame, I'm down the road a couple of little ways. He had to go up a couple. He must have had to gas it up the road and find Buster U-turn somewhere and come back again, you know? Okay. All so right. by the time he got up, by the time he got up behind me, I'm pretty much sure he had a good look at me from the other side of the road. All right. 
All right, so a couple of weeks later, I'm assuming that this is a couple of weeks later, you get hemmed up again. What happened in that situation? A couple of weeks later. Oh, I just got off with a verbal warning. What happened? Basically, uh, I pretty much busted a U-turn, and he seen me. But shit, I, I waited. I waited until all the traffic was clear and then bust my U-turn, you know? And he asked me you know, to drop Mr. Sound like shit. My glasses was right here on the uh on the dashboard. I really didn't I really did miss it. So let me get this straight. You you driving down the road, you missed your turn, you decided to 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 bust a U in the middle of the road uh, was what uh, traffic <laughs> well, light kind of like yeah something like that at a traffic light oh okay 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 the 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 now this was a this wasn't a dot or nothing like that this must have been a a regular cop a regular officer that saw you do yeah. that yeah Okay, okay. So you gave him he you gave him your license and everything. He noticed that on your license you got corrective lenses and unfortunately you don't have them on. He said something about that. Uh I was I, I showed him my glasses. They was was on the dashboard, you know what I'm saying? And I took I took them off and I just I missed the sign which says no U turn and went ahead and bust one anyway. Was it because you so didn't have your glasses on? Hell yeah. I can't see far off in the distance, but I can see very up close. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Okay. But the cop, uh, so in this situation, he just gave you a verbal. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Well, if he gave you a verbal and didn't put it down on paper, then... You know, no harm, no farm. I mean, no, no harm, no harm, no foul there. You know, but bro, keep your glasses on from now on, my guy. Hey, drink the coffee; it'll make you feel better. So the company you got that, to. but the company that you're driving with, man, you you only been with them for uh, I'm assuming a month now because you know all all that stuff happened within a span of of a couple of weeks since I've seen your first TikTok. So you've been with this company for almost a month. Why why you why why you left the last company? I thought you was I thought you was kind of good with, with with the last company. Uh so during during that period, bro, they uh this company here, they don't really like promote their business. They don't advertise, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of strange because the dude the dude who got me over here, he found my information on uh driver folks. And, you know, with driver folks, with driver folks, you know, all your information is up there. Right. And he went ahead and ran my MBR and thought that I'd be a great fit for the company. So he reached out to me. And I said, y'all paying what, man? And that's all he had to say. And then he, he showed me some evidence where what is driving was bringing home? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Proof, proof was in the pudding. So and is I've he, been over here ever since. So is this company like uh, a small, uh, a small mom and pop style type company? Correct. They they two brothers. Oh, okay. Okay. That's that's what's up, man. All right. So you. So you saw all that good stuff, and you you told the the past company bye, <laughs> just like that, huh? And bye. bounced. <laughs> <Best bye. laughs> hey man, let's do my my only loyalty. I got it to my kids and Jesus Christ. This is. I feel it, man. I feel it. <laughs> uh, T M. I don't hold no loyalty to nobody. <laughs> T M Truck Mafia, y'all. <laughs> my guy.
Yeah, y'all could definitely catch my man on uh, on TikTok up under Trump Mafia. You know, you got some uh, good uh, TikTok videos, so you guys could peep them out and all like that. So go ahead and give him a follow. Uh, TM man, I, I hope uh, <laughs> I hope that everything else works out for you, man. I mean, I know you just got with this company, and the money must be good, so you gotta. <laughs> you you know you gotta gotta tighten it up a little bit. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon. Where G was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the E, so I could get some phones rolling in my ride, chilling all alone. 